Christmas. So beautiful. And I didn't know that he was born right here in this house. Every day will bring me something new. No, they cold, really cold. Oh my gosh, we'll turn around and we'll close the door and get some heat on. They know what we have a full bag down down. We have a full trunk, don't we? Are we ready, guys? Uh -huh. Yeah. Are we ready for a good trip? Yeah. yeah. Where, where are we going? Do you guys know where we're going? No. no. Istria. Istria. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, we are now off um, on a week-long trip to Istria. We're going to explore the region. Our first stop is uh, Motvun and Groznyan, two beautiful little hilltop towns. Um, and then on to Rovin for the night, so off we go, right? Yeah. Are you excited? I am. After a long, long time. Yeah, we've had like a really long period <laughs> now of not traveling, um, and so we are excited to go take a family trip again. Yeah? Yes. Yoo-hoo! Oh. Beautiful weather today. It's supposed to be nice all week. A little stop just to stretch our legs and shake them out and get some coffee and some juice for the kiddos because we always promise them juice on little road trips. But I have to say it is getting even easier to travel with them now. Um, Sophia is now three, Mate is four, almost five, and Oli is six. So with every year, I just uh, it gets a little bit easier. Fresh Corner. It's actually really, really good coffee. It's Fresh Corner. I think it's like the gas station brand or? It's Ina, yeah. Yeah, so it's Ina's brand and it's actually really tasty. Yeah. yeah. Two hours. And three minutes. Yeah. Okay. So two hours left until Moldova and I thought it was going to be a little bit shorter than that, but that's okay. Um, onwards to Moldova and then have some lunch there, I guess. You can see up there in the distance, that is where we're headed. That's Motovun perched up on that hill, sitting there all beautifully. Okay, we've made it to Motovun. We just parked and we are gonna go start to explore the city. Motovun is located in central Istria and it sits high up on this hill. It's actually 227 meters above sea level and it's surrounded by this amazing, stunning natural landscape it's below. So, so beautiful. These views are probably the best. Being a medieval city, Motovun is surrounded by walls, and here is probably one of the most spectacular places to sit down, grab a drink, and soak up the scenery. Motovun is definitely one of Istria's most well-preserved and beautiful medieval towns, and it actually dates back to the 12th century. Currently, the population is about 500 people that live in Motovun, and actually, uh, if anyone is a race car fan, Mario Andretti was actually born in Motovun, uh, which is a really cool fact. So next, we took a walk to find Mario's birth house. This is definitely something new that I learned um, on this trip to Motov when I didn't know that he was born right here in this house. So that is a really interesting little fact. I personally love Motovun. It's just such a sweet, charming, romantic town with cobblestone streets, colorful doors and windows and buildings. Just these beautiful streets that wind around the center of this little hilltop town make it really special. Everyone was getting hungry, so we sat down at this restaurant called Kasho, which is just the hotel's restaurant here, so we could all have a bite to eat. The kids obviously got chicken and french fries. Uh, I ordered some truffle kind of mm. pasta dish. When you're in Istria, this area of Croatia, you should definitely try truffles because they're known in this area and really famous for them. So you have some dishes to try with truffles. You can't go wrong. How was, how was your meal? Oh God, we had two plates. Uh, of chicken nuggets and fries. <laughs> it was super yummy and we ate it all. Yeah. 
Now on to explore the walls. We got the tickets for the city walls. Oh, okay, okay. So that leads so, around the whole city walls. All around the city. So apparently oh, it's awesome. nice news there. So cool. Let's check it out. Let's go. Okay, so now we're just walking along the walls here. You can walk right around. Even just bought tickets, I think they're 30 kunas for adults and free for kids. And they just kind of take you along for some incredible, incredible panoramic views up here of just everything all around, all of the hills, little towns, rivers, vineyards, little churches, really just the most picturesque views here. Last time we were here, I don't think we walked along these walls. Um, I don't know if it was available to do i don't know we didn't come here um but i think that i was pregnant with mate when we were here last and it wasn't very nice weather so maybe we kind of hurried back but this is the first time we've been up here like walking around the walls and really some spectacular views all around Uh, you can't leave Motivum without mentioning truffles because actually in 1999, the largest truffle in the whole world was found here in the Motivum forest. It was 1.3 kilos, it was a white truffle, and it was huge. It still stands as the world record for the largest truffle ever found. Um, and this store behind me is Zigante Truffles. Um, it was Zigante who actually found the truffle. Truffles are very symbolic of Istria and Motivun, so if you come here, don't forget to try some. They are spectacular. There are just so many local truffle products you can buy in these shops around town. You can try chocolate with truffles, olive oil with truffles, truffle seasoning, cheese with truffles. There are just so many different options. I definitely recommend picking some up and giving them a try. It's like um, a truffle cream, I guess, paste kind of, right? Or like a truffle kind of spread, I guess. Mm. Really good. Motivun is also known for its film festival every year that takes place at the end of July. It's been going on since 1999 and it's a really fun event. The town is just filled with people and it's a really special time for Motivun. Our last stop before leaving Motivun was dessert. We picked up some fritulice from a local vendor. Fritulice are kind of like little donut holes that are sprinkled with powdered sugar or cinnamon or chocolate or really any mixture of those and they are delicious. <laughs> but we're going this house. We're gonna, we're gonna take that house. Yeah, this is the second day that we'll stay here. We just got to our Airbnb here in Ravine. Uh, we just found out we're the actual very first guest staying here, so everything is just brand new. It's beautiful here. And we got a nice, a cute balcony. Yeah, yeah, a nice little balcony. And we're like so That's close to the balcony. center. I didn't even realize how close to the center we are, which is great. Wow! I've mentioned it before in other videos, but I think our kids' favorite thing about traveling is just coming into new apartments, new spaces, choosing their beds, unpacking, and making themselves right at home. It's quite chilly now, so we are going to get cozy, get warm, call it a night, and uh, we'll go continue exploring tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to Rovin, we're going to explore all of Rovin tomorrow. And, um, and continue our adventures. Good night. Good night. Good night.